Well, this Chinese New Year, many Singaporeans have been putting gifting at the top of their to-do lists. And more stores have reported a rise in demand, some as much as 20%. But it's not all been smooth sailing. The reason? Rising costs, supply chain disruptions and manpower issues. Gifting is an important tradition for the Chinese New Year. And with the easing of pandemic restrictions, the symbol of prosperity and good fortune for the year ahead is even more in demand. At this store, it's all hands on deck to get orders filled. Majority of our range have already sold out. It's uh, more or less uh, we uh, already reached uh, our last year, our target this year, I would say. But uh, still, we still have four more days to go, so we will top up and uh, do what we can. Demand has risen between 10 to 20 percent compared to during the pandemic, but fulfilling it has not come without challenges. Well, in terms of all the material costs, uh, the cost has gone up and also supply chain problem. Um, uh, China side, we do facing some challenge because of uh, delay in uh, delivery. Also, the, uh, our delivery contractor, uh, we are shortage of driver. So this year, we see we are facing some challenge on uh, delivery as well. To fulfill the 300 to 500 orders each day, Mr. Chi has hired some 10 to 20 more workers to help with the packing and deliveries. It's a similar picture for traditional Chinese medicine store Yu Yan Sun. Faced with rising costs and this year's 1% GST height, the retailer is working closely with industry partners to keep prices of the hampers low. Despite the GST increase height, we absorbed the selling price as per the same as last year. Our intention was to really put our customer first at the centre of our heart. But it's not as simple as that for smaller businesses. Unable to absorb higher costs with their smaller pockets, they're taking a harder hit as customers search for low-priced deals. Bichi the store is instead offering customizable options to cater to individual customer tastes, preferences and shrinking budgets.